Hi, I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Tastemakers. Happy New Year. I can't still wish you that halfway into January, right? The year is new enough. So I have a question for you. Is this the year that you finally put your music on CD? That you up your game and show the world you're a legit artist with physical product available for sale at your gigs and on your website? If you're not convinced that this is the year, let me address the three main reasons why people choose to not make CDs. Reason number one, my fans don't have CD players or cars and computers don't come with CD players anymore. Certainly, it's true that not everyone has a CD player and that cars don't come with them, but there still is a large installed base of existing CD players on the market. Then there's actually an interesting phenomenon happening with CD players. Demand for CDs has actually been gradually increasing the past few years, and this increase in demand for CDs is starting to drive demand for CD players. Just anecdotally, I am starting to see that it's becoming harder and harder to score a used CD player at stores like Goodwill, just like started happening with vinyl turntables over a decade ago when that format started surging. Perhaps most importantly, as I discussed in a recent video, there are many fans who will buy your CD or vinyl even if they don't own a player. They buy because they love your music and they want to support you. I heard a stat once that almost half the vinyl that is sold, the poly wrap, is never even removed. Physical media today is less about the sound, though CDs do sound amazing then it is about the physical connection, the album cover graphics, the liner notes and credits, the photos, and about supporting you financially, and especially about getting that autograph from you when they buy the CD at your merch booth. So don't let the fact that not everybody has a player scare you off from making CD. The second reason I hear from artists for choosing not to do CDs is closely related. Nobody buys CDs anymore. Frankly, this is just not true. CD sales declines have stopped, and industry-wide CD sales have actually grown modestly over the past couple of years. And here at Disc Makers alone, we've made over 10 million CDs last year, all of them for independent artists like you. And CD growth is actually dwarfed by vinyl growth, which has been growing at a compound annual growth rate of over 35% for over a decade. Clearly, fans want physical media. I see it online, especially on TikTok. Fans, including many young fans, swooning over their vinyl or CD collections on Vinyl Talk and CD Talk. Now, vinyl can be significantly more pricey than CDs, so not every artist wants to dig that deep with their budget, but CDs are a very affordable alternative. Which brings me to the third reason we hear for not investing in a small run of CDs. It's too expensive. This one always kind of blows my mind. Even if you're highly budget constrained, you can get started with 100 CDs and jackets for just $149 plus shipping. 100 in beautiful digipacks cost just $232 plus shipping. Plain and simple, CDs are not expensive. They are an incredibly affordable format with a great return on investment. If you are a performing artist and you spend, say, $200 on 100 CDs, all you got to sell is 20 CDs at 10 bucks and you've covered your cost of making those discs. Selling the remaining 80 CDs makes you up to $800 in pure profit. If you are an aspiring independent artist and you're not willing to spend two to 300 bucks on a few CDs that will elevate your brand and put cash in your pocket, you should look in the mirror and ask yourself how committed you are to your musical success. So, there you have it. Three reasons to not buy CDs debunked. So what do you say? Are you ready to up your game this year with some CDs? Not only will you make an impactful physical connection with your fans, you'll also be able to monetize your music in a way that streaming doesn't even come close to. When you're ready, we'll be here. Just go to thismakers.com or call us at 1-800-468-9353 to speak to one of our friendly, helpful product specialists.